You'll then be adding 0.5 milliliters of PET ether and 0.5 milliliters of dichloromethane into the flask with the pigments. Then you'll be taking a pipetter and adding it very carefully to the top layer of the column. While you're pipetting in the pigments, make sure that you're focusing down the center of the column and not the sides. You want the pigments to form a band in the column. You need to make sure that the stopcock is closed and the vacuum is either off or removed while loading the column with the pigments. Once the addition of the pigments is complete to the column, You'll need to remove the funnel and open the stopcock without the vacuum to let gravity remove the solvent from the layer. This is why it's important to make sure you have a, a band of sand on top of the silica. You want to make sure that the forceful addition of the compounds to the silica layer does not disturb the silica. Once again, you want to make sure that you do not have the vacuum attached or on during this because otherwise the solvent will move too fast and you will not be able to stop the column from drying out. Turn off the, turn off the stopcock when the solvent has reached the top layer of the sand. As you can see, the band is going into the silica layer. Then you'll be adding 5 milliliters of PET ether very carefully because you do not want to disturb the sand band. You will then be opening the stopcock and reattaching the vacuum, allowing the PET ether to be vacuumed down until the top of the silica. Be very careful here to not let the layer dry out. As you can see, there's been a red layer and a yellow layer forming in the silica layer. Then add 10 more milliliters of the PET ether very carefully again to the column. Again, attach the vacuum and allow this to be drained into the flask. This will be packing down the column completely. Continue to add and drain solvent, the PET ether, from the column until about 25 milliliters of solvent has been added. You'll have about 20 milliliters of PET ether drained from the column. You'll then increase the concentration of the solvent by adding 10% dichloromethane and 90% PET ether as your solvent. You'll then add this solvent to the column. Once again, reattach the vacuum and open the stopcock to drain the solvent from the column. As you can see, the band is moving down the column. This is the mobile phase, and it is alluding to the bottom where we will dis where we remove it in a moment. Once again, the yellow band is the beta carotene and the red band is the lycopene.
Continue to let the column drain until the yellow band has reached the bottom of the column. At this time, you want to remove the flask from the column and obtain a clean, dry, round bottom flask. Then attach this new flask to the bottom of the column. Now, you want to reattach the vacuum, open the stopcock, and collect the yellow band. You want to make sure that you collect the yellow band completely. You will collect all of the yellow until you've reached the red band. As you can see, what you are collecting is yellow in color. Remember, you want to have solvent still on the top so that your column does not dry out. Then, turn off the stopcock, remove the vacuum, and remove the flask from the column. Once again, this is the solution that you will be collecting. This is the beta carotene. Now you'll be taking a clean flask and attaching it to the bottom of the column. You will now be removing the red layer you will first add your mixture of 50% PET ether and 50% dichloromethane to the top of the column. Then attach the, the vacuum, open the stopcock, and remove the entire red band. once the red band has been, beat, has been removed. Close the stopcock and remove the vacuum. As you can see, just from looking at your three round bottom flats, two round bottom flats, as you can see from your two round bottom flasks, the left being the beta carotene and the right being lycopene, that they have retained some of the original color you saw in the band. The beta carotene will be a yellow color and the lycopene will be a red or an orange in color. While one person is rotovapping your products, the other person can dry out the column. You'll want to make sure now you turn on the vacuum, open the stopcock, and let the system dry out completely before you try to remove the silica or the sand from the column. Once the, once the column is extremely dry, it will be easy to pour out the silica and the sand from the column. As you can see, since it's been under the vacuum, it is now completely dry and you can discard it.